Today we're going to look at ultraviolet light. Well, not exactly look at it. You can't actually see ultraviolet light, but you can see its effects. It's also called UV light, or sometimes black light. Now before we start, let's get something out of the way. There's no such thing as black light. That's an oxymoron, like genuine fake watches or jumbo shrimp. Black light is ultraviolet light, which is outside of the visible spectrum. So how do we see its effects? Here's the deal. There are things around us that have phosphorus in them that are excited by ultraviolet light. UV light gives off invisible photons. We can't see the light itself. When those photons hit atoms in the phosphorus, the phosphorus in turn give off visible light. Okay, so I picked up one of these battery-powered ultraviolet lights at a surplus store a couple of weeks ago for around $10. So let's have a look around my apartment and see what sorts of things give off light when excited by ultraviolet light. Okay, so why does this work? Well, in the case of the white t-shirts, that's because they have phosphors in the material that make them glow. In fact, laundry detergents themselves glow under UV light, so your wash looks really bright and clean, especially since you were probably looking at your laundry on the clothesline in the sunlight. Sunlight, of course, has ultraviolet light in it. Why does my toilet paper glow under UV light? Because it looks clean and white when it's sitting on the roll. You can figure out for yourself why we think this matters to us. Fluorescent highlighter pens have phosphors in them that make them glow brightly when exposed to UV light. Remember that a lot of regular light sources have a UV component to them, so it's not surprising that highlighters appear vibrant even when you look at them in normal light. All kinds of important documents have features that glow under ultraviolet light. That's why the security person at an airport runs your passport under a UV light, or why people check your high denomination bills under a UV light. They want to make sure they're not forgeries. Even credit cards have UV security. You've probably seen ultraviolet light used in crime shows to detect traces of blood and, well, I'll leave it to your imagination as to what other kinds of bodily fluids glow under ultraviolet light. The main thing to remember is that UV light is nothing magical. It's just a conversion. Invisible light that hits objects that have pigments in them that fluoresce when hit with those invisible photons, and that in turn gives us light. 